Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll delve into the fascinating topic of activated versus non-activated versions of Windows 11. If you're one of the many people who have recently upgraded to Windows 11 or you're considering on doing so, you may be curious about the activation process. Or if you're someone who is using a free version of the Windows right now and you want to know more about the activated version and you want to know what is the difference between the two or should I consider or not consider upgrading, this video is going to be extremely helpful for you. So let's dive into it without any further ado. Firstly, let's discuss the meaning of activation. In simple terms, activation refers to the process of verifying that your copy of Windows is legitimate and licensed by Microsoft. This ensures that you're running a genuine version of uh, the operating system which provides you with access to all its features, security updates and support. Let's move on to the difference between the activated and non-activated versions of Windows 11. The primary distinction between the two is that the activated version is fully functional and comes with all the features that Windows 11 has to offer. In contrast, the non-activated version is limited and it comes with certain restrictions. So what exactly are these restrictions that I'm talking about? Well, the most significant limitation of the non-activated versions is its inability to customize the appearance of Windows 11. You, you wouldn't be able to change your desktop wallpaper, accent colors or lock screens, etc. Additionally, you will receive a watermark on your desktop reminding you to activate your Windows 11 and you get that almost all the time and that is sometimes to some people a little distracting whereas other people might not even notice that right? they, they should be pretty fine with it. Another limitation of the non-activated version is that you would not be able to access some features such as Microsoft support, OneDrive synchronization and Cartona. I don't know how much Cartona means to you. I don't use it personally, but yeah, that is not available. Additionally, you would not be able to download some apps from the Microsoft Store that require an activated version of Windows as well. You may be wondering, how do I activate my Windows 11? There are a few ways to do so, but the easiest and most recommended way for me at least is to purchase a license key from either Microsoft Store itself or an authorized retailer. Once you have obtained that key, you simply enter it in the activation settings and voila, your copy of Windows 11 will be activated. While the non-activated versions of Windows 11 may be functional and a lot of people are using it and they don't have any issues with it, it does come with some limitations. If you actually want to experience all that Windows 11 has to offer and access all its uh, range of features that it provides, I would recommend that you activate your copy of Windows 11 because once you activate it, it's going to be good for, for lifetime. So I think it's a one-time investment. It's a pretty good investment because you use Windows for everything, right? If you have a Windows computer. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech-related content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.